This video poster presents a book about Austral Asian tectites, it contains 42 chapters, as well as a dictionary and a reference list. After watching each video poster, you can download relevant chapters for detailed readings using the link in the description below. Effects on Earth by impact of a celestial body can be devastating. The body that created the Austral Asian tectites must have released enormous amounts of energy to create the world's largest strewn field. Apart from craters, historical impacts have shown evidence of other effects. On small scale the Tunguska meteor fall in 1908, and the more recent Chelyabinsk meteor, evidence the potential effects, for the Austral Asian impact, the tectites and microtectites are the main indicators. The Tunguska event showed startling evidence of the impact, by flattening a large area of forest, leaving tree trunks pointing away from the hypocenter, broken, uprooted, irradiated and incinerated on one side, and stripped of branches. Surviving trees still evidence the impact by burned wood inside trunks in direction of the hypocenter. Carbonized wood is well known from volcanic eruptions. Creating carbonized wood and muong nong tectites covered on the ground by 2000 degrees Celsius hot ejecta by conduction, is calculated for a hypothetical muong nong tectite precursor of clay, measuring 10 by 5 by 3 centimeters, heated on five sides, and a tree trunk 10 meters long, measuring 30 by 30 centimeters, and heated on five sides. It would take about 10 hours to heat the trunk to 400 degrees Celsius, while the tectite precursor would heat to 2000 degrees Celsius in just 7 minutes. Carbonization of wood and melting of silt slash clay stones is also simulated using microwaves. Microwaves penetrate the whole item and can therefore provide similar results as longer time conduction, creating carbonized wood and muong nong tectites. The simulation shows the creation of carbonized wood after 10 minutes and start of clay melting into glass with vents after 12 minutes at around 700 degrees Celsius. Carbonization of wood is different from forest fire charcoal. Forest fires burn from the bark on the outside, typically leaving part of the trunk and root inside, unburned. Often larger branches are also preserved. A 7 meters long carbonized tree trunk from Ban the Chong gravel pit. Uprooted with the top broken off, one side incinerated, with no branches, and fully carbonized. Smaller pieces of carbonized wood, incinerated on one side, still with bark on the other side, covered with incrustations of pyrite and silica. Large clumps of pure sulfur on a rock, and as pyrite incrustations, on the bark side of a carbonized piece of wood. Micrographs showing incrustations of silica and pyrite on the bark side, and tracheid vents, after degassing, showing the wood was non-homogenized, which would have left only tracheid cell walls. 